Welcome, Welcome Cornerstone, Cornerstone families. families! We are so pumped to have you joining us online today. In today's video, we're going to have a time of worship as well as a Bible story for you guys to watch. And afterwards, you can check out our Cornerstone Kids Facebook page to find the parent guides for today's lesson. Make sure you gather as a family and go through those activities and questions together. Yeah, now let's hop into worship. No matter what, no matter what, Jesus' love for me will never change. No way, eh. He's always there, he's always there, taking care of me and I believe. Jesus, you and me, our friends forever. We are, we are, I know. Friends forever. We are, we are, I know. Friends forever. We are, we are, I know. Friends forever. We are, we are, we are, we are, I know. Friends forever. I know. together with the nest? Yes! A bird goes with the nest! There's a real bird that lives in the nest outside, but I have a pretend bird for this nest. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I was watching the bird outside, and it kept coming back. Then it would go away. And come back. It would go away again. It would come back again. I think it was getting food for the babies in the nest. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Flying your pretend bird, are you? Hey, Ollie. I was just showing our friends how the bird kept going away and coming back. Bird watching is wonderful. It's true. 
I know someone who went away and came back too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola! Happy Easter, friends! I'm Luis the Handyman. I am so glad you're here. I have been waiting for you. <laughs> I'm so excited about our Bible story today because it's all about why we celebrate Easter. <gasps> you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Let's put it on the story, friends. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Now, let me just paint something. Do you know what shape this is? Ha <laughs> ha, a heart. Because the true story of Easter begins with God's love for us. Give yourself a big hug. God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to be our friend forever. That's right. God sent his son Jesus to be our friend forever. But first, something sad had to happen. One night, when Jesus was having dinner with his friends, the disciples, he told them he would have to go away, but he said he would come back. After dinner, Jesus went to pray. While Jesus was praying, some angry people came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and he died. It was very sad. Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad face? After Jesus died, they put his body in a tomb with a big stone in front of it. Three sad days went by. Can you count them with me? One, two, three. And look. On the third day, when some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb, they saw that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus was not there. Jesus came back, just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. That's the best news ever. Jesus is alive. <laughs> That's why we celebrate Easter, because Jesus is alive. <laughs> and Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Hey there, Holly. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Happy Easter! <laughs> So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and he wants to be our friend forever, too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus went away and came back. Jesus wants to be our friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Good! I'm going to find my friends and tell them that Jesus is alive! I can't wait to celebrate! Happy Easter! <laughs>